The officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Well, in more boxing news, Franchon Cruz has earned some other Shadesha Green's power at times and landed enough punches to regain her WBC super middleweight title Friday night in Orlando, Florida. Cruz Desern defeated the previously unbeaten Green by unanimous decision to win the vacant WBC 168 pound crown on the Jake Paul Andre August undercard at Caribbean Royale in Orlando, Florida. Judges Alexander Levin, Frederick Flutie and Tina Griffith had it scored 98-92, 97-93, and 97-93, and they all credited Cruz Desern for winning an ugly fight that included more clinches than clean punches. The 34-year-old Green, a former Division I point guard from Patterson, New Jersey, entered the ring as an 8-1 favorite over the former undisputed 168-pound champion. She couldn't connect with the type of punches against the crafty Cruz Desern, however, that enabled Green to knock out all but two of her first 13 pro opponents. Baltimore's Cruz Desern regained the WBC Women's Super Middleweight title. She lost to England's Savannah Marshall five months ago. Marshall defeated Cruz Desern by majority decision to win the IBF, WBA, WBC, and WBO belts July 1st at the AO Arena in Manchester, England. The injured Marshall was named the WBC's champion in recess late in September, which enabled Cruz Desern, which enabled Cruz Desern and Green to fight for the vacant WBC title. To start the fight, Green tied up Cruz Desern several times in the first two minutes and didn't land many punches in the open round. They traded hard shots with just under 40 seconds on the clock in the second round. Cruz Zern landed a right hand, but Green quickly countered with the left hook. That's how a majority of the rounds went through the midway point of the bout. Come round seven, Cruz Zern landed a right hand, and then a combination with 30 seconds to go on the clock. Cruz Zern went down about 10 seconds into the seventh round, but it was ruled a slip. Green seemingly needed a knockout in the tenth and final round, yet she couldn't catch Cruz Zern with a consequential shot in those final two minutes. Cruz Desern landed a right and then a left about 20 seconds into the 10th round and the final bell sounded. Guys, what do you think about Cruz Desern versus Shadej Green? Uh, who'd you have winning that fight before, um, you know, before Friday? Do you guys think that uh, Shadej Green was going to win this fight coming into it? Uh, a lot of people thought that it was probably, you know, maybe 80-20. 80 percent was going for Shadeja Green, 20 percent was going for Franchon Cruz. Franchon definitely, definitely showed a lot of improvement from her last fight with Savannah Marshall to Shadeja Green fight. Um, this was a lot better of a looking Franchon Cruz to earn, uh, even though there was a ton of clinching, but she connected with a lot of shots. Um, guys, what did you think about the fight? Congratulations to Franchon Cruz to earn. And we're looking forward to seeing both fighters in 2024. The division is kind of slim, so we don't know what's really going to happen. The division is kind of slim. Uh, who do we have? We have Savannah Marshall, who just signed with PFL and is in recovery from hand surgery. We have Clarissa Shields, who's also in PFL, and we're not sure who's next for her. We have uh, Christina Hammer. Elin Sederus retired. We have Raquel Miller. Raquel Miller is the only other undefeated fighter in the division. Um, actually, Clarissa Shields is not, I don't know if that's her division 168, but I know that she would fight at 68. So, you know, there's not too many fighters to choose from. So we don't know what's next for Shadeja. We don't know what's next for Franchon, but a good fight for Shadeja Green uh, would be Raquel Miller. We'd love to see her come back um, and we feel like it would be probably right in the limelight, you know? It's gonna be on the big stage immediately because there's not too many girls in the division. And it would be a good fight, Raquel Miller versus Shadeja Green, guys. What do you think about that? Let us know in the comments below. You can find us on Instagram at Sportbox TV Official, X, formerly known as Twitter at Sportbox TV. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. Appreciate all the love and support. Take care.